what would you say is like probably one of the biggest challenges you have doing artwork or, you know, trying to be an artist? Well, as a, a full-time, I am a full-time employee and also at the same time, a mother of two children, um, I would say finding time. So you yeah. have to have and be very, I wouldn't say rigid with your schedule because there's no such thing as being rigid. Even if you didn't have children, things pop up. But um, having a schedule, period, and trying to adhere to it and making sure that, you know what, I have this much time, um, I'm going to dedicate myself to this. And if you're sick or if one of the kids is sick, you know, oh, if there's yeah. a doctor's appointment. So... At, at nighttime, I usually find myself between Thursday and Saturday, um, and maybe sometimes Sunday morning if I'm lucky, mm -hmm. um, being able to create my artwork at nighttime by myself when everyone's in bed. So I come downstairs, um, shut everything down, just have the music playing, and just do whatever it is I need to do. And um, then I have my admin day. I know it sounds weird to say that, but I call it admin day I where you do you nothing mean. but office yeah exactly you have to be you know you the, the adult stuff the uncomfortable stuff the right. boring stuff yeah so sitting down revamping your website researching even though it looks like you're not researching because people come down if your husband or wife comes down they see you on youtube or reading <laughs> an art, article they're like you're not working <laughs> no some of it's research okay there's there's one thing uh, and this is this is a good and horrible example but there's that documentary that's out about the woman that was writing the true crime novel who was married to Pat Oswald who sadly passed away but while she oh, was yeah. work while she was working on the book and she was getting frustrated but it would take forever and he was like you take as long as you need and you know because he also r writes books and he's a stand up he's an actor and artist and all that kind of stuff and he says to her, you take as long as you need, because I know that you need that time to get into the mode and get where you need. Like, you can't just sit down and go, okay, now I'm working. Boom, off and running. No, mm -hmm. you got to like, you got to look at things and get the inspiration. Mm -hmm. Maybe look up like, okay, what are some methods? What am I thinking of? And you get into it. And then the last like hour is where you actually do the work, but you have to work up to that point. And when I heard him say that, I'm like, that makes so much sense. And it's kind of what you're saying too, like... I'm not watching YouTube. I'm looking at something because I was trying to think of something and I'm looking it up and then learning more about it and it's inspiring me. And then I'm going to be off and running, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That is correct to the point. And it's the same thing with what I'm doing right now with my mixed media. I mean, heck, I'm even looking at dr driftwood because all the lakes and the stuff oh, yeah. that washes up. And I'm inspired by that. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I could do that. But uh, I did one driftwood piece, just a small one, just an experimental one. But also, I was like, you know what? It'll be for sale. Someone wants it. And it's on my website. But I did that, and I found out, okay, I have to bleach it for how long? And how often do I have to change the water? <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if this is for me. That's a, that's a little toxic, and it just seems a little, a little too much for me. Me saying that uh, as a person that's also using drywall and having to wait for it to, to, to dry, but while that's drying, you also move on to the next project. So you always have something in the waiting yeah. room or in the queue as you're working on something else. And at least that's how I do it. It's the same thing with when you're brainstorming. And again, back to what we were talking about, um, having that mode, that momentum. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing with brainstorming. If you're working on a piece and you're getting so frustrated and you're just tired of looking at it because you've looked at it four days straight, oh. and like, yeah, you, yeah, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting carried away. Like, I posted this on Winster, and people are going to sit in there going, when's she going to go ahead and post that? Is that for sale? Yes, she said it was for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so you move on to the next piece. So that way you can just kind of, you know, defrag your mind and just move on to the next one, move on to the next one. And then eventually, before you know, you have three pieces that are finished because you've returned to them at certain points um, of the week or the month and you're done with all yeah. three. 